So guys, hi, we're gonna make this 90s kind of look website to the latest website. So I'm just showing how it looks here. And now the latest website. I know it's not still that good. I know it's dumb, but you know, just like whatever I could. I'm not a pro. And it's not the only page. There's a lot of pages. This is just one of them. Maybe here. Okay, since I'm a noob, I have to know how to do it. So I'm just learning what is, like, what should I use to do this? So I'm just installing EJS, then setting the view engine to EJS. And then setting the views folder to be there. And then I'm changing everything to the rest.render. And then I'm saying it to render the EJS file. Then I'm creating a folder called views. And then creating an index.ejs. It's just a HTML with some coding. So I'm going to write from EJS. And now I'm just going to check it. Running the node server. So it works. Now I'm going to add. So the red one that you see is the variable that's used for the EJS and the white one is the variable in node.js so I could use it now with the EJS with the EJS I could add CSS to this page this is the syntax to write it you have to write some percentages equal to and stuff So I'm just going to check it. It works perfectly fine. Yes, it works. I'm going to link it to my index.css so that I could write some CSS code here. I'm going to new file. Going to that file. I'm creating the body tag. I'm giving it a light pink. And I'm doing some like making sure every element in that page is centered with some display flex codes and now it doesn't work why because you have to put it in the public folder and then you have to tell it to you know you have to tell express that it's a static folder which you have to serve up when the server gets up there's a mistake that wasted a lot of time for me yeah so i'm going to put in a div so that it becomes proper now yeah, then I'm going to give it a height, which is 100 VHV, which means it's the entire height. Okay. And I'm going to create a, this is a URL for rain. I'm going to say to repeat, center fixed, and then the background position size will be contained so that it's going to cover the whole page now. But the reason is that I've kept the background color on the body, so I have to change it to HTML tag. Inside that, I have to be the background, and now it works. I'm going to create a back button so that you could come back with it using the browser's back button. So I'm just like selecting it, adding some position absolutes. And we got it. Now it looks ugly, so I'm going to add some. The link is when you've not visited it. So all this code is for the new link. Once you visited it, it's going to change. So. I'm adding some animation so it doesn't look ugly when you hover on it. So I'm keeping the animation to be the font size. So whenever the font size changes, it's going to give some animation. So And on hover, I'm going to change the size. So I hope the animation works. And it works. So now I'm just going to give the text decoration to be none so that I could get rid of that ugly underline there so it looks more decent and it's gone and I've changed the fonts too to make it look good 2000 years later we have created about 10 pages that changes depending upon the weather so you don't have to say the same old photo but still my home page 
sucks. So I'm gonna take off that, do this, make the hover animation, add some thunder, clouds, some pictures of clouds, some snow, and clear sky, a sun, and some plants. I'm gonna center my search bar, can add some effects to that, convert the button, add a H1 heading, center it and make it large, add some styles, and done. Head over to hanifprojects.com to use this website. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I just have six subs, so give me some love. And tell me what I have to do next in the comments below. Thank you.